Alright. Okay. Okay. So, Snark and Sophomore here are fighting in my tournament. I'm played for an Angles. Angles are played. Yeah, I don't care. At any rate, they are fighting in my tournament in the loser's bracket. So, whichever one of them wins here will continue on, and whichever one doesn't, won't. <laughs> I figure I'm around so I can record. So, that's what I'm doing. Despite the fact that Snark is almost certainly doing the exact same thing. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so my hair is written in a character. Let's see. Snark plays Setsuki, Gloria, Valerie, Lum. And I think that's about it. But typically he hasn't, he hasn't played Lum very much in tournament because it's so kind of pickable. Valerie, I haven't seen come up very much, so I'm going to condense that into Setsuki and, and Gloria. I suspect he's probably just going to make this Setsuki. Let's see, who does who does Sapphire here play? Who does all the BBB? I also associate Geiger with him, but I haven't really seen him play Geiger in a while. Hmm. I don't yeah, I really I really have no no bead on who Sofa here is going to pick to play. But I think Snark is gonna pick I think Snark is going to Setsuki. Okay. There they go. Oh. Hmm. I have no idea what this matchup is going like. Offhand, I would say it's probably a little bit difficult for um, BBB to go to range. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Poke that shit out. Let's see. And even if he does, Mom can do. Mom can do damage. Out from all out range through. Um, Poker Flourish, uh, technically jackpot, and of course, just uh, dodging anything with his ace. <laughs> but furthermore, like, he has plenty of ways to get out too. Oh, not there we go. Like, uh, he can he just chuck a jack out. It's faster than anything but a normal. Um, it ties with an ace too, but there's no reason why you play it simple ace at range. I guess not unless you're trying to call it something specific, but I never see people do that. Um, Mom has plenty of dodges. He has a recurring dodge. Oh, there we go. He will lose the jack, so that kind of blows, but, um, but it's fast enough. Here we go. Right. Yeah, overdrive. Now, what I've been noticing uh, lately, okay, so the usual kind of mix up here is uh, like play a jack or dodge and a king. And I used to just play like a fast throw, cover the dodge king mix up, and I didn't really mind getting it by a jack. But I've been noticing some people normal here like that. Because, you know, if they're going to dodge, you can just walk. And then, but if you get hit by a normal while blocking, I mean, what? what the fuck is that, snack? Snacky. That tells me you must not have, god, you have weird cards. Like a bunch of twos. A six? Two sixes. Maybe an ace you're holding on to. Um, but yeah. Since, um, since the mix-up is king, or overdrive mix-up can be king or dodge into king, you can kind of block and see if you find the dodge or the jack. But then, of course, that makes the normal potent because it sends you to range. 
Yeah, I eventually finished my thought. Okay. So I'm here getting rid of the throws, because, well, they're not, frankly, all that useful against them. Like, if he's just gonna block, then you can just go on it. And if he dodges, then he's already letting his hands capacity. I think so far here. Hmm. Hmm. What is he doing here? Ooh. The bold king throw. Now we're at range again. That's actually... That's honestly better than... Well, that's better for Snock than him hitting with a normal. I think. Because the king doesn't return to his hand before setting range. And whereas like a normal would do two chip damage, it would draw up by her card. Uh, the only downside for stock here is that he's knocked down. So, and, oh, he has another key. I feel like yeah, that was that was guessable. Do we know? Oh, the king that was beat out would have returned to his hand. I always forget that. I always feel like we beat out the king. Okay, I feel like this overdrive is bait near to chuck out an attack into Sublon Air's dodge. I would be wrong as shit. He just got crossed the fuck up. I don't know what into, but... Mm, it's not, I don't know why you would get rid of the jack. That's useful for navigating range. I guess queens are better because they're lucky at everything but, you know, the dodge, but I think a jack is a little bit less costly. No. Okay. Block the dodge. Actually, how many dodges does he have gone? Is that the first one? It is the first one. We got seven more dodges to go. Light holds are about even, but Snock is the worst for wear in that particular comparison. It starts with more. Boy. Ooh. I love it. I have... Because... Okay. So you don't do any damage, but you do stop range, and you, draw, you actually draw a card, which is delightful. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought range was going to ruin my day. My day. Hmm. We know he has the king. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'd be tempted to play an attack. To play something aggressive. I think I might lean towards a 6 though, or like a queen. Hmm. Okay, dodge the king. We back out there. I think, oh, I think Stark is blocking it. I think there's a queen. There we go. Okay. Alright. He's lost three jacks so far. Oh, that's rough. But he probably has queens now. Oh. Uh, that was clever and stuff, was so far, here's part getting that new, nice block. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think I don't think Lum's e dodge here will actually stop the range. I think it'll just trigger the blackjack effect. Yeah, looks like I'm correct. It doesn't stop. But it did get a nice 17 damage. <laughs> okay, he evened it up a little bit. So my hair still definitely has. Advantage, or at least the significant 
not a significant knife, but it's just comparative. And, uh, he's done more damage to Snock than Snock has done to him. Okay, now they're both got enormous enemies. There's no telling what he's doing. So I'll go ahead and hit him here. I dodge just as a kind of release valve. I feel like Snock should start coming back up to those aces. I might. I would be tempted as Snock here to normal. I don't know what's up on this dodge or block it. I'm not going to dodge this. Okay. So clubs and butt buttons and I don't know why I called stuff like a butt button. Yes, I do. It's because his address was the button. It's a rabbit. It's a hair. The fine distinctions of which I'm unaware of. I'm not even quite clear if they exist. Okay, I don't think so far that has a king anymore. Because if he had, I think he would use it. Alright. Snucky boy. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to power up for some of the races. Ooh, gotta get rid of the inks. If he has three aces and he can do seven damage, which is from a uh, full house. Okay, so if he gets rid of cues and returns and inks, I think he is. To me, that's hyper signaling that he's in the queue and that we should dodge here. But he might be extra sneaky signaling he has a queue and that he's a king. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm not sold on that maneuver. I'm not sold on that maneuver at all. Uh, you could have, there's such a potential to have gotten. At least seven damage from those, and you draw a bunch of cards. Granted, we were at a power phase, so we probably need to get rid of another card. So far here is discarding cards, including a jack and two. Yeah, I think he's really I think he's almost signaling it's not to end range. Which is kind of hilarious. And it's not keeps going for an aggressive option. Of course he's forcing more and more uh subclass cards to the discard. Because uh, if I had to guess, I would say he has all of his aces, so he can't buy shit up. There goes another thing. Yeah, this is. I don't know that this has gotten interesting, but it's funny. <laughs> The final queen into an ace dodge that doesn't end blackjack. Okay, we're at A. 18. There we do it. Okay. Now, oh, I hadn't realized stack was so low on cards. Okay, that's beautiful. It's basically getting a double double flourish. Oh. Uh, Okay. What I do think would be fun here is if he if he has the other ace, which is incredibly likely, he gold bursts here into self as normal king. And then ends range, has all those aces, and can maybe set up another blackjack. Uh oh. 
Well, play the Joker here. Oh no. I see another one of those things. Oh no, I just went back and just named. No, I can only guess that it's not sure if you're going to be the one. Oh now, now he dodges. Okay. Now we're gonna clock it and it does not be or stop because it doesn't feel like we can win. And I believe he's used, well, I think he's used one double converge, but one is in the discard. Another one? Okay, so we've got three in the discard. Oh, just not syncing up. Hmm. <laughs> smoke here, oh, I don't even know what to do. I think if I were smoke, I would honestly block again. Maybe clean. Okay. So can we change that? I wonder if he has the final cooker brush. Blanc and they have meeting normal. There we go, out of range. And I do like the most of the players are uh, in the sense that I don't. Him attacking into uh, Snap's uh, ace dodge and predicted it would be bad. Uh, and of course, into basically. Okay, we got overdrive again. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's still hurt. Into a hot piece dodge. Oh. Alright. So I'm good. Might be able to. Close it up this way. He doesn't have to worry about the asses. Okay, six, eight. How does that play? It doesn't know what it is. Okay. That was pretty intense. I like to clever maneuver around around public flourish. And I wonder if something here goes to either Arv or to Gray. I think we're going to Rain. Well, Zane's butthole. So it's a fine choice. And that's what all the girls. Touches my ball. I think it's Zane's body. I would be correct. I wonder if we're going for methodology alpha as um, the Hunters would say. 
Neil Linder's the methodology of the, the same initials, MA as Max and Lima, with a lot of coincidence. Definitely not a weird uh, trick shot thing. That's what you're implying. Hmm. And I have a normal room, I'll spend it. I'm guessing you didn't make a normal room. Okay, let's sniff on this. Playing a queen, gold burst, or block right? Ugh, that's disgusting. So hot hair. Blocking the vein. What kind of OP strands? I guess we may have. I made a different assumption that I only had. Yeah. They only have one normal in his hand, and that's why he can stick it into his combo. But it may in fact have been he just didn't have a normal. So what he was extra safe than you so far. Hmm. Yeah. Now that we both have it twice, I think it's pretty clear that he has a bunch of garbage in hand. Like a lot of. Oh, not many. Hmm. Okay, we got a normal now. Give Lump some cards. He wants them. He needs them. Okay. I feel like Snap might be pulling for an aggressive option now on some black hairs. I don't know. I feel like some black hairs gonna dodge. Snap might like throw out a jack just to be safe. I would be super amused if Snap the Trail. Thank God I, thank God no one listened to me. Because, I mean, well, although actually, I saw Fire had dodged. Maybe we had a much better. Ooh, calling out that Joker probably because it doesn't have any other keys. Because his. <laughs> well, at least they each lost a Joker. But that said, some of my hairs at least prevented damage while Snap uh, wounded him. Oops. <laughs> All right, he blocked right. Coming and stop the black book. I've got like a 30 point life deficit of playing this jack into a string. Now that's some good damage. That's what, 13, 20, 25 damage in an ace? I mean, that. Uh, well, that evens things up pretty nicely. Lost the jack and another jack on top of it. That stuff has plenty of face cards left. I think it's up by here. I would honestly kind of attack him. Mm. No? Oh. Snop reached out with his, with his pokey claws. 
and uh, Sam's like, fuck that, I have to dance. Dance, Mary, dance. Okay. Hmm. What's the mix up gonna be? Very few odds, actually. I would be tempted as not to block odd. Very tempted. Like, block the five. Kind of a situation. Maybe a die. I think that's fine. Oh, he blocked with a seven. Even more outrageous. Still got the job done. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is still, like, relatively speaking, in Sapphire's court right now, but it's long, and we've progressed far enough. We haven't seen any poker flourishes. It's got a big hand. I'm guessing that is forthcoming. Okay. Zane blocking. Always, always makes me leery. Makes me feel like... Maximum anarchy. Anarchy is uh, is forthcoming. You just place it here. <laughs> Oops! Not false cards. He's gonna have to power up now. What? I don't. I don't know that either one of them is powered up. That's a little bit peculiar. A little bit telling. Either they're running into their aces, or they just don't need them, or they've got up and so don't really allow for them to power. It's like you power up sevens, and I'm always a little bit disappointed by the decision. Okay, so we are. We are orchestrating a flourish setup. <laughs> hmm. His deck was incredibly proved him. He no longer has the jokers. Uh, which plus side means I ain't gonna Fuck of his flourishes, on the downside means uh, they really just boned him. It was just a the first one wounded him, the second one wasted resources. Okay, so thought here. So thought here, by name with the throw. I think that rule gets a loses a king but does mill a nine. A pull a nine? Yeah, I think that was a mill if you if you lose something. There's a jack. How many sources are not bound? Does it still have left? Okay. So that's three jacks, two kings. So he technically has three sources of knockdown, which is more than enough. Especially since two of them are kings. I think Sapphire so. is going to throw here. Mm. Never mind, there's so many queens left. Mm. Hmm. There we go. There's the implicit interaction. That I was alluding to, but didn't state outright. Um, the import crash bomb. There's the final jack. I mean, if Snark plays an aggressive action, and Sapphire plays crash bomb, Sapphire wins. I swear to God. He has got a damn yellow from that. I'm just going to do this mess with him. Hmm. 
Something the little pathway. God, that feels disgusting. Butthole. How many dachis does he have left? No. No tens or fives. However, he has dachi, another dodge, plenty of fours, and a three. He's got. Here's like the four dodges left in his deck. He has three dodges left in his deck. Has I'm not played a four? That's weird. I wonder if he's accumulating them. Oh. Well, GG. But just look at that. Oh my god, is it Shin Anarchy? Does he do that? Is he Corellus? No, just Lucy. The train base. So Okay, we're sticking with mom. Hmm, I wish to poke out. Alright, nothing, nothing too exciting from my perspective. A lot of block from Zane. Um, a lot of, a lot of posturing from Lum. Hmm. Well, they get if 
you got the straight edge plan. Oh, and it came. Alright, there's no more reason not to. You got me back on the flip. You did damage with an attack. And you do. Okay, okay. Alright, then he uses one of his fast attacks and uh, is blocked out. Sorry about it. Okay. Coming up sevens. That's, that's telling. What is it? So it's telling us that we're going for goddamn anarchy as a plan. Oh, gets another two blocked out. Okay, so we're in a decent position. All of a sudden, man, apparently I just like jackpot as an ability for the other people. And Snark here, I would feel compelled to attack, but I would want to dodge. Okay, but he blocked. That's fine. Do we have something else to power up our knees? Oh, alright. We're gonna do this. Beggar's Flourish. It's a weird hand in the stand. I guess this only doubles if you probably use on pairs or face cards and this goes eight season ten. Oh, yes, the strippers. Okay, six, eight, eleven. Ooh, hit it. Twenty. We'll take it. I was hoping. I was hoping for twenty-one personally. Well, he does hit, and actually, now this is an amusing interaction now that I think of it, because Snob can still roll the dice and potentially knock down, uh, okay. Ooh, well, I'm definitely right about him just having uh, multiple little face cards. But he can still roll the dice and potentially not sink down. Which means that neither one of them are knocked down and neither one of them have, or insane still doesn't have an advantage time. The only downside is now, because. Uh, Because all of. Actually, no. Snuck still has one ace in the deck, so he can, in fact, still circulate those cards around. He just needs to power up. <laughs> okay, now what? What do? I feel like Snuck is going to block here, and so if I hear something throw, I would be completely incorrect. Apparently, guys, I don't predate people well. Okay, power up queens. 
how many assets does Zane have now? Two or three? Anarchy is definitely getting to be a plan. There we go. I hope to God it's not a joker. Okay. Good. Good. We did make the same. Think about it. Okay. Turn the deck and then discard. Alright. I think so far here here is going to be true. Dodge. Dodge is like you might have anarchy in the end. Weird. Mm. Okay, okay. So I'm trying to find a safe way to land anarchy. just to be bold as hell and like throw during these times. Be like, hey, if you're gonna play it, play it. How many dodges? Um, okay, he's got four, eight, nine dodges left. Yeah. The flourish. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. I see it over here. I'm gonna throw. Stick with the plan of dodging into energy. I feel like he, I feel like he's not reading the situation here. Deck to help currently favors Snock. Granted, if he just throws his hands out and grabs him, like he can easily make that favor himself. There we go. There we are. We're trying to touch somebody. This one, I think, is much more valid to be a joker, but, but um, I can go either way on that one. Let me do check. Okay. Not bad. It mitigates uh, a nice quantity of damage. Draw some cards, potentially have some set of poker flourish a little bit more. Also, accelerate the game. So now I've got three in hand. Ooh. <laughs> okay, beggars flourish again. <laughs> Skill shot. Okay. There we go. Cascade and purple flourishes. Ten? Hmm. We take that twenty. Delicious. But now, how many coins are gone? You know what? He's still got a fair amount of them left. If he has another joker in hand, I'd almost just play. Mm. 
that's very good. That obviously into the corner. So 13. Okay, there's the other Joker. And he's really. <laughs> okay. From here, now things are really sketchy. Because we're still in Zane advantage time. And uh, it's not just as one way of energy. Okay. He does technically have even an odd box that. Okay. There we go. There we go. I would say um, I have almost no qualms about uh, calling this for long now. Although it is actually still totally possible for Zane to win. And one just needs, or Snap needs to negotiate this correctly. How many kings are out? So many kings. Yeah, well, I would want, I'd want to, you know, that's exactly the interaction I was, I was worried about. If I have another Joker Flourish. Well, actually, I would say that they would be finish on who decided not to pick the Jack. Have them both over, so we didn't need to deal with that and make a four. From here, Snark, I would like to block. I think that my hair is going to throw you, so I would maybe never just another attack. Possibly if I still. Oh my god, Snark, don't drop all of your spaghetti. Okay, I'm a little bit biased. For no real reason, I think it was just because it was in a room playing a stack, and I just think it's fun. And I watched the videos, so that's really probably what it is. Ooh, oh no. Yeah. Now it's tied. Hmm. Now I have. I personally have to decide what happens if they get out. Okay, now he has slipstream phase, which is faster than Jack. If he dashes into it, wins. So, uh, we're really. We're really limiting ourselves. Has any of them played Jokers? I don't even know. No, he totally played the Joker. He mitigated the Angel Kings. I would want to play an attack here as Snob, but I think it's going to be damaged. Mm. I'm growing a lot. I have a lot of fear. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. He just. There we go. <laughs> Oh, my 
cadre. to Geiger. I think that's a fine choice in the sense that I think Seth Lahir is very comfortable playing Geiger. Um, I'm skeptical. I mean, not that I've never played Lum vs. Geiger in a tournament match, but um, in plenty of casuals, I was playing Lum against Geiger, and I felt that was, frankly, way, way more in Lum's favor than Geiger's. Mom has the best attacks. He has the best attacks. <laughs> like, sure, Geiger lays a hand on you in late game, you are probably dead. But Lum has so many ways of just, yeah, this, of being a biscuit, that I'm, I'm not sold on this. Okay, straight into the straight for meaty damage. Okay. He's slowing down. What did he flip? Was that another J? He does. Er. <laughs> yeah, there's another J. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. I do like that. Now he gets the block. I would say it's cost safe for him, but Lum has fewer cards, so if they sell it. Hmm. Okay. If I'm stuck here, I want to block. And if I'm stuck by here, here, I want to block, king, pump, or cross up. King is the lowest option, block is high, and then I'd say cross up is a little bit lower than that. Because the I mean if you destroy this block and you cross up golden. Now this, however, perfect interaction. Look, I get cards, you get space card, lob. That's how it is. I mean granted, Queen's leaves to Tiger's A cyclic recognition and his king. Flash gear, but but I'm not they're solid, especially because Lum can keep recurring them. <laughs> okay, okay, things are even now. There we go. There's the flash gear. Gets blocked down. Not great for Geiger. Great for Lum. They each uh, they each thrive on actually building hand getting a lot of cards, and then turning those cards into damage. The, the, the suit advantage Lum has in that game is that uh, he doesn't, his is not hindered by what his opponent is doing. Um, however, Geiger's advantage is, uh, is that his damage is not uh, limited in the same way that uh, that Lum says. Because Lum does out of combat damage, and if he does it through Poker Flourish, it can be at most 21, but it's probably going to be somewhere between 15 and 20, which is good. It's excellent. Good part because it is guaranteed. Geiger is not guaranteed, but if he, if he lands the mix up during the World Distortion, which is uh, apparently a go right now, I'm not sure that his hand is not big enough. Like, he can't kill Snock. There's. Uh, actually, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take that back. He could kill Snack here if he has all four aces. And look up. Hmm. 
stuck. What the hell is that? I guess he thought the girl was coming, but he, with Geiger having the hand that he does, I would have expected a block before I would expect a um, throw, a block, and an attack. So I think that was a, a poor choice in Sunspray. But now, since his wife is doing it, he's coming closer and closer to be in range of whatever. Whoa. It's actually not as bad as it would be in a lot of other situ a lot of similar situations, in the sense that your Joker is less effective against Geiger anyway. But it still sucks to have it blocked out. On the plus side, he didn't uh, damage it, or damage or dodge it. Okay, now he has two queens. <laughs> Double danger time. If I was stuck, I would want to dodge a throw. Alright, let's find on that. I know it's spooky, it's pretty spooky to throw Geiger, but uh, I advocate doing it anyway. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, baby. Gotta gamble. So stuck in that dodge range. And Sunfly here is basically leverage the threat of TV in order to uh, get snuck off of him. And also to get him to spend his good resources, which uh, accelerates Geiger's gameplay, puts him in an even better position than Sanka's on. And that's, that's bullshit. I knew it. I have to remember that this something plays Geiger on occasion. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Like I said, sometimes you just throw him. He lost two TDs, but he still has the queens from it. Okay. There we go. Have those queens turn into aces. Because those queens at that point were worth 21. Hmm. I actually saw the aces under TD. But the aces are faster, so they are. Yeah, you know, which is better. Yeah. Um, shit. Okay, Snocky, now you can die. Perfect. Yeah. I'll play a jack. Mm -hmm. Throws again. Good thing it wasn't me because I was just my attack. Right in the head. No more TD. <laughs> Stops right. Three pushing me. Okay, the final TD. Yeah. Okay. We have all the aces. Queen, queen, five, queen. Mm. His long guns, his glums. And that's 
Actually, though, I don't mind early normals being beaten out by fast time spiral. It's actually it's a damage. It's nothing too intensive in the early game. Because I would, I have much. I guess part of the part of my thinking for that is that um, when I throw out a normal, I know it's not coming back to me. I've already accepted, you know, that's not going to be part of my hand. Whereas if you get time stopped, um, you lose a block and you're knocked down. You could potentially lose another block or lose another combat because now it's advantage for your opponent. And that's, that sets up a whole slew of, uh, of shitty circumstances. So, uh, so I'd much rather just take the, the straight attack speed loss against uh, fast time struggle. Um, slow time spiral on the other hand, I would rather, uh, ooh, I would rather just take the, uh, the time stop. Okay, okay. We've lost the jazz. are inclined to block on your knockdown or the catch your move with the dragon punch. However, in this case Geiger had so many cards that I think a cross up is pretty likely. That can be a very good catch. And a very subtle amount of damage. It's not just about a little over halfway dead or a little under halfway dead. It's good R and here. Yeah, I would say if if Geiger says if Geiger still has good cards or at least can get him, I'd just say put Ace against him. Um, he's only a TD mix up away from Okay. Stock is throwing a little bit too much. Stop by here is really just an aggressive. He's got a couple of blocks off. He's solid. That said, um, so here has been many key combats that are very, I feel like there's a, there's a point where when you, when you're winning a string of combats, there's certain pivots where, um, someone, there are moments where we breathe, basically. And if you lose those combats, it destabilizes your rhythm. And I feel like I win. So far here. Played flash gear against Stocks on the coin toss. I feel like it was one of them. Because you would check up Jack because it's fine if it's blocked, it's gotta be most things. But then he lost to basically the worst thing he could have lost to. Fucking King because now he's not down, sets of advantage, yada yada yada. And yeah, like I said, it's very it's very destabilizing. And then you have to kind of flail until you're back into into the rhythm where you are you're dancing with your opponent again. You have a greater idea of what they're gonna do. Anyway, that, that's my feel on the game. And that is broadly how I approach my own matches. Matches rather. Um ooh, go straight for the throw. Um did he remember bases? Or four is it? He did. I'm gonna guess. Um, he might not be dead. Right now, our stuff out here in the station G. So we're at 29. We need to do 14. 34. 42. I'll be dead. Man, that was a pretty convincing win. Deal with damage. I'll slip out here to close. Block damage from a coin toss. Okay. Snock sticks in the matchup. 
using the institution vocabulary. Hmm. I'd like to, I hope to cut you. Hmm. I do love me some Geiger, actually. Yeah, I really would like Snot to throw this. This isn't particularly bad, because like I said, after losing just combat-wise to Jack and not being time-stopped, it's not terrible, but I mean, would still obviously prefer that it not happen. Well, uh, let's talk to Jack or Block here. Oh, oh, see, this is one of those ones I was talking about. Where, um, we are hoping you're pretty safe, but then someone slips right in. Oh, you And actually, um, while I continue the thread of an idea, if someone destabilizes that enough, they might get you uh, almost. Yeah, hold on, switch those. Um, they might get you almost in tune with, uh, like with their desire. Basically, they they move you along almost like a puppet, and you do the thing that they think you'll do, and then they keep countering that thing, and it keeps you destabilized in the way that leaves you leaves you running. Okay, and that's where like being able to to recognize the flailing or a tilt is incredibly useful. Yeah. Let's not stop throwing. Going block block with Kiger isn't your favorite, but you don't want to run an attack in a block. You certainly don't want him to be your throws with tags. In between your throws with throws, we can do it. But tags, mm -hmm. favors kind of way too much. Okay. I think Snuck has been a desperation throw here. And Sunfire is going to poke out like a normal. Oh, no, he continues the throwing trend. trend. And I. Oh, no, I can't go. Ooh, now that's some good damage. Okay, be snug. We're back in this. We've won combat. And we're even. Of course, you can't have that without something in the deck looking over. Which is treasure. <laughs> there we go. Now, now you know you should throw it. You throw it out. You gotta put guy on the defensive. Now you're kind of on low cards, and that's not good, especially if you are lower than Geiger. <laughs> okay, he played Cycloid. This is a perfect one for you. He does. My one chip, you gain a card, it's one thing. Okay, let's turn up this jack's room, does it? Game plan one, build a hand. Mm -hmm. 
like an anti further attack here. But he doesn't see. Now we're sensing what the throw should be. And I love it. Based on how much he's pummeling this though, I think he's signaling that his hand isn't good. And we know he has all the kings to the jack, I believe. No, nope, he didn't get those back. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible for some fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. 13. Do you go? No, you're six thirteen. Although you have a not insignificant chance of running into something good attack on there. Okay. We know he has at least he has at least thirty damage in hand. The most he can have. Actually, let's, let's break this in. We know he has ace haze. We now know he has a jack. Um, he might have another ace haze, which is 42 plus the jack, putting us at 51, which shows that um, he likely has a throw in hand as well. Because uh, because you don't want your temporal distortion to not have teeth by not having a throw. And I would contest that he likely does not have all four aces. Possibly three, but not all four. There we go. Rip that right out from under him. Now we know that he has a size back there and two mystery cards. I think so. If there's no way on our sub fly here is playing with two aces, just it just wouldn't make sense. He can't won't win, and he'll his hand will be devastated. He is like we can block. So it's not here, I would almost want it's gonna block or something poke out with the normal. So the snock I would wanna I would honestly can throw or dodge. Hmm, he dodged. I don't get him so by here. Don't get it at all. Hmm. Okay, there's the cycling. Yes. But we maybe can kill from here. That might be why you play them. No. However, now we are our return stocks now dead to any throw. Which uh, simultaneously and damage as long as he's throw it handy is deadly. Mm 
Oh, not cool, that's right. He has plenty of dodges left. Oh. oh my god, I didn't even think about kings for self my hair. Then play one more. There you go. You win. Okay. Thanks, no type. That was pretty that was a good ending. I'm glad that um, in my opinion Snock adjusted to the way that Selfmire was playing, was able to correct get his ground again. <laughs> Now where did we go? Oh yeah, bring the suit and hunt. Block on block action or stuff like here and let it spiral again. Spiral. Okay. Okay. Now, one of the reasons this is a terrible from Lum's perspective is because that does drain Geiger's resources early on. Makes him more uh, likely to block and makes him a little bit more predictable and less exploitable. IMO. Ooh. I like the three from Snuck. It was going to pause you. Um, I like it from Snuck because he's going to tie a queen, which means that that doesn't favor you, but um, we know this is damage, so it's a 3 damage to queen. And then additionally, it beats basically any normal, any cross up normal that guy could play that was going to lead to anything. He plays 2, and I'm sure he is faster, but the only thing is 2 that might get to it is a 3 queen or K. Wow. Is a, and he, the only normal is a 3, then we can lead to any of his face cards, actually. Jack and King are, of course, both enders. Queen can then get some other things, so if he had a queen, we could, we could get a couple places with that. But then uh, we'd be debilitating his hand even more. Okay, there you go. Stark still has the card in now it's deciding what to do. Oh, it's also the jack again. Ooh, nice and meaty four. Okay. Four and a cake in. Why not? We got the cakes. Burn them. What are we flipping? Oh, that. So if I hear I honestly just play a defensive option from Snark, I would block a throw. Damn, so if I hear always goes in here. And you know what, it's so... It's so odd that it works. Not in the, not in the sense of flabbergasted that it works, but in the sense that it is so weird, so unexpected, that that is why that it works. <sighs> Additionally, um... That rolled a little dice slowdown, much like acrobatics on, or Vendetta's acrobatics slowdown. They work the same way in the sense that because you're slowed down, you feel like it makes it a very sketchy proposition for you to attack because everything's going to beat, which means blocking a dodge will become more valuable, which in turn incentivizes your opponent to really throw you. We attack on TD, giving him cards once again, limiting the threat of TD in order to get the cards to make TD scary. Um, if if it's a 
sure that that's true. I think. I think that top five here is going to be some kind of attack here. But it might be too risky and he might just continue to block. But I mean, it might be too too tempting because the snack is really considering throwing here. And then you're like, oh, gotta gotta protect myself. So, frankly, our cell phone here, I just normal. But like, I got some benefit out of TV, I've got plenty more. I would especially do it if I had another TV in hand. Because uh, Snap's lost plenty of good cards, it's unlikely that he has a handful of damage. Ooh. Ooh. I love it. Thank you, Snack. Although we just turned the three around and one. Okay, dodge into a king. I'll take the six, MTD, get it back. Ooh. Neither one of them is that a particularly vulnerable or important life total. I suspect blocks from both of them. Possibly a time spiral from the Giggler so far here. I'd be goddamn wrong. You've been outspanned! Cradle of Foot Seas. That again. Okay. Now we're rapidly getting to a point where uh, Snock is in the danger zone. Frankly, if Sapphire has all aces, he can win if he has TD. But she didn't play, so either he doesn't have it or it's not going to tie. I think right now he's digging for more cards. Oh. Cyclic Revolution. Okay. I'm seeing the exam go in to fight Mystic Juicer, which totally is not going snap that match as soon as I can. Despite the fact that Mystic Juicer is already certainly doing it. TV up again, he grabbed a check. Does he have the hands or the aces? If he does, he is close to legal. I think he might throw again. Oh. Oh. Ruh -ruh ragging. Oh. Okay. He has lethal off of whatever he's got in hand. Oh. Oh. All the jacks. That was some nice exact suits. Okay. Okay. Well, that covers me. I'm going to end the recording.